The new Giant Tree of Life poster featuring every new Gala Pokemon is available now. Pick one up before Christmas as a gift to yourself or to a friend by using the link in the description and thank you for supporting the channel, as well as those of you supporting on Patreon, such as the Nerd Therapist. Thank you. Hello, Pokemon Master! My name is Burkeeper Toby. Thank you for clicking on this video and we're here. We're in the future and Pokemon Sword and Shield is real. I suspect there are going to be a lot of Sword and Shield videos. I mean, there's so much to cover. There's all the new Galarian forms, Pokemon, Gigantamax forms. There's areas, there's bits of lore. Even this video is a Pokemon theory. And this is the most important Pokemon theory for me to do. You will see at the end. Also, I will be announcing the winner of the Sword and Shield giveaway in the next video. This is your last opportunity to leave a like, leave a comment. If you go back and leave a like and a comment on any of my videos with Sword and Shield in the title, that's an entry and I will be picking pretty much at random. So with that in mind, good luck, I will announce the winner next. And this video, I mean, where to start? Where do you begin with a new region? I mean, I guess you begin by asking some questions. Especially about those new Gala forms. Why is Galarian Stumfisk a bear trap? That's cool. Why is Mr. Rhyme so creepy? Okay, I maybe don't have an answer for that. But most importantly of all, why is this Corsola? Why is this? Galarian Corsola and its evolution Cursola, why are they in the Gala region? They don't belong here. I'm going to tell you why right after I thank today's sponsor. And this sponsorship is important. I will tell you why at the end. So thank you to today's sponsors, Surfshark VPN. Now, if you don't know what Surfshark is, you don't know what a VPN is, it's kind of like a, well, a Pokemon Sword and Shield is the way I've been saying it. A suit of armor, a protection around all your devices when you are connecting to public Wi-Fi's. You're on the train, you're in a cafe, you're just connected somewhere that you wouldn't normally be. You don't know who's kind of getting access. And you're thinking, what do I care? I'm only looking up Cerebi.net or Berkey Patobi's uh, full playthrough of Sword and Shield. But here's the thing, and the reasons that I use a VPN is, is obviously I don't want people getting into my social media accounts. That is one of the reasons that I've been using a VPN myself for, for nearly a year now. And the other primary reason, the reason that you might care about a little bit more, if you've got a VPN, the way that it protects you is by routing your IP address through another location, specifically another country. And that means with your various streaming services, whether that, that's Netflix or Hulu, you can get access to content that you wouldn't usually have. Since the last time I did this sponsorship, I just started the US office. And by the way, I'm now on the final season, season seven dipped a little bit but yeah I wouldn't have been able to watch that otherwise and if you sign up today using the link in the description and my code birdkeeper you get 83% off and an extra three months for free as part of their Black Friday Cyber Monday deal so do check out the link in the description use the discount code thank you so much to Surfshark VPN for, for sponsoring this video for supporting the channel and supporting me in the cause that I'm going to talk about as part of this video hashtag team trees saving the planet if you're thinking, hang on, what's that got to do with Pokemon? Well, let's rewind a step and talk about Corsola and Cursola. So unlike the Alola region, where there are regional variants, in the Gala region, some Pokemon have evolved into entirely new species of Pokemon. As I mentioned before, there's Mr. Rhyme, there's Surfetched, and Cursola one of, is one of these. Cursola is not a form that you get in other regions. It is only in this region that Corsola has evolved the way that it has. And in fact, you can see very clearly the main difference is that, I mean, one, it's a ghost type, but two, it has been bleached white. The Gala region kind of thematically kind of represents this coming together of nature and industry. You can see the nature and mythology in the world of Gala, in the legendary Pokemon, in the beautiful Glimwood Tangle, or the Pokemon Wilds. But industry can also be seen in the bigger cities of Gala, the, the League Tournament. Humans and Pokemon coexist in the same way that we coexist with animals on the planet. But sometimes there is an ugly side to that relationship, and Cursula is the kind of prime example of this. Corsula's new Pokedex entry that says that due to very sudden climate change, this type of Pokemon has been completely wiped out, and the only way that it still exists is by absorbing the life force of other creatures. That is a sad and dark way to live for a Pokemon that I thought in the uh, Pokemon animated series was very, very cute. Imagine Misty's Corsula suddenly wiped out as a result of sudden climate change. This is something that's affecting the planet, but specifically in Hawaii, we see coral reefs, where well, we don't really have coral reefs as much in the UK, um, we see coral reefs experiencing this kind of white coral disease. 
And this can happen for a number of reasons, the changing temperature, for example, or, or pollutants in the water when people litter. Toxins and bad stuff in the water just makes these corals die. And again, I said in Hawaii this happens a lot, and Hawaii was the location of the last region, the Alola region, where we had our Alolan forms. It seems to me that uh, a Galarian Corsola would have been much better fitted in this region. Then again, it would have meant that Marini would have probably starved. And that's not to say that in the UK or here in the Gala region that we don't have our own pollution problems. We absolutely do. But this Pokemon shouldn't exist in the Gala region. And that is because of another Galarian form. Glarian Weezing. There is no Glarian coughing that evolves into Glarian Weezing. A coughing, no matter how uh, toxic it is in the Galar region, has evolved to be this magnificent creature. Specifically this artwork by the last shaman, Milady. But the deal with this fancy fella is what he does is he takes pollutants out of the air and eats it. That's all of the green stuff around its face. Then Galarian Weezing filters that through its top hat and puffs out very clean, beautiful, clear air, toxic free. What Galarian Weezing is doing here sounds kind of like something out of science fiction, right? It's taking uh, poisoned air, toxic air, and taking all the bad stuff and filtering it into clean, good stuff. It makes sense because Weezing has long hypothesized to be a man-made Pokemon, but then surely a Pokemon like this? Living in a region side by side with Corsola, surely that, that lack of pollutants in the air, uh, and pollutants kind of form a barrier, a blanket over the earth that keeps things warm, will stop and help mitigate against that climate change that is causing Corsola to suffer and turn into Cursola. So really it shouldn't be in Galar at all, where it should be is maybe in the Alola region, although you'd like to hope that they'd be able to have something in place. But maybe it's because Galarian Weezing is having to fight on its own a lot. And this is, you can kind of see how this is turning into the hashtag Team Trees video. For those of you who don't know what hashtag Team Trees is, it was something started by Mr. Beast uh, and another YouTuber, Mark Rober, I think. Both absolutely fantastic creators and they want to plant 20 million trees. Why? Because Galarian Weezing is not a thing of science fiction. Where in the Galar region you see all of these towns have popped up and all of these industrial cities, chances are forests like Glimwood Tangle and areas of the Pokemon Wilds had to be cut down. What Galarian Weezing does is fantastic. But what the trees of the Gala region do is just as magnificent. A tree, basically, the way that it goes from a little sapling to a big magnificent tree is by taking carbon molecules out of the air, carbon being the thing that we really emit with our pollutants, the thing keeping the planet warm, melting ice and causing Corsola to die. Well, they take that carbon out of the air and then they breathe, that's what they breathe in and they breathe back out nice clean air oxygen, which is what we breathe in. It's a very beneficial relationship as long as there's a balance to it. And right now across the world, in the rainforest, in the Amazon, in South Africa, there are fires, there is burning going on. It is going on at a pretty dramatic rate. There are simply not enough trees to absorb all of that carbon in the air. So Mr. B said, do you know what? We're the internet. We are the generation with the power. Let's do it. Let's part plant 20 million trees, which is a massive goal. That said, they are already well over the halfway mark. And how do you even begin planting trees? Well, you can donate. One dollar is one tree. And thanks to the incredible sponsors who, who helped out with this video, I'm personally going to be planting 100 trees. And while you're down there in the links checking out Surfshark, it would be really awesome if you could also plant a single tree. Just one, just one for each of you watching. This video gets a thousand views, that is a thousand trees. That is a thousand Galarian Weezings here in the real world, allowing life forms like coral to keep on living, other animals that are going extinct as a result of deforestation. And that's all the better for all of us. One, it means it doesn't get so hot down the line. Two, it means there's all these magnificent creatures for Pokemon to be based upon. As cool as they are, I think in the future I'd like to be seeing less fossil Pokemon, less extinct Pokemon, and less, you know, Pokemon like Cursula that have perished as a result of global warming. But thank you for supporting Team Trees, and thank you for those of you who have been asking me to do a Team Trees video. But on top of that, in all seriousness, Galarian Weezing does exist in Gala, and so I can't help but feel like Corsola and Cursula might be leftovers from last generation. They really definitely belong more in Alola. Thank you again to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN, for making this video possible. I'm having a lot of fun discovering all the various things in Gala. Thank you for watching, and of course, Saw High Pokemon Masters. This is Ash Ketchum.
You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master. <laughs>